Assalamualaikum. Saya Fazal Bin from Petro Jaya. Now we will do battery assessment test. This is the battery assessment test setup. We will do exactly the same at the side where this gearbox connect to the damper and to the actuator. We lay the cable to relocate the normal controller far from the damper side. Okay, now we need to do inspection first for the shutter. This is the shutter. This one. This is the mechanical position indicator. This is motor compartment. And wheel, plug socket with pin inside here. Bolt and nut, tightness. This one we will finally check during installation inside. Sini condition so good inside. Overall, was good. Okay, next controller here push button all functioning selector switch all ok local control indication you can see now close position I mean all ok plus ok will pin Okay, bolt timers also during installation we will find the check and also the sealing condition. Then next on the gearbox, the mechanical position indicator show close position, bolt and nut timers good, leaking mark not available. Okay. And overall, it's good. Okay, now we will do. Uh, we will show you the setting for type of setting for close and open con open direction. Hold this button for two second. Scroll down to customer setting enter type of setting enter end position close enter initial limit setting so for close by limit then back go to end position open enter and open also by limit it's depend on uh, client request whether you need by limit or by top, we will change accordingly. Okay, now we will show motor tripping top, top value. Same, we push the C button, hold and for two second. Go to customer setting, and then go to top switching and then first we go to trip top close and press enter you can see there already default setting by factory 463 Nm for close position ok back we go to trip top open enter and setting also same factory default Okay. Now we will do a uh, motor winding resistor on the motor compartment. And for the first 
equal u1 and v1. The resistance is 6 ohm. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, you want you want six ohm, and then B one W one six ohm, and the last part U one W one six ohm. Okay. Now we will do a motor isolation resistance test. So for the first, we test on U1 to a ding point. Okay, start the test. Okay, over 1000 mega ohm. Okay, next, V1 to a ding. Okay, also over 1000 mega ohm. Hmm. Okay, plus one, W1 to padding. Okay, so over 1000 mega ohm. Now we will do, we will check motor no load current. Okay, we first we do for you you want this from close to open. You can see the starting current and the running current. Okay, running current around four point two maximum. Now we will do for V1 phase current, no load current. Okay. okay the current maximum running 3.6. Now for W1 phase, the running current will be 4.6 maximum. Okay, now we will do functional test for the ejector on the locker from controller. Okay, for the first step, we will do manual from end width and do engage the middle end width and we need to push the button. And then we rotate clockwise and the, you can see the mechanical position indicator the movement towards close and then uh, rotate and the was to open back and you can see the mechanical position indicator movement towards open position Okay, then we will do the stroke test by local remote push button. And now the position on 56% and move to open. You can see the percentage running towards 100% which show the open position. And the mechanical position indicator from the box so open. And then next we to movement to a close position. And 
give up position indicator movement towards close Position 0% close position and the indicator we can see close position now uh, we do functionality test on the chatter from remote switch okay for interlocking check when we push button we will not responding so there is interlocking system okay now close position then here the loop in the calibrator we will increase 25% by 25% from 4 mA until 100 20 mA 100 percent okay now Increase 25% first towards 8 mA and stop 25% toward closing toward open and increase another 25% 12 mA 50% then increase 25% 60 mm for 75% position and you can see also the feedback same we inject 16 mm and feedback also 16 mm approximately and lastly 20 mm for 100% ok Open position 100%. Then we move from open to close. We decrease by 25% from 20 mm to 16. Then we back also 16 and movement 75% position and decrease more another 25%. 12 mA 50% position feedback same decrease to 8 mA feedback same 25% position and lastly 4 mA for 0%